Before we get into the video, I need you guys to do me a favour. Number one, get this video to at least 200 likes. And also, if you do like these videos, then consider donating as little as 10 pence via the link in the bio. Birmingham, a lot like other major cities, are divided up by extensive gang presence. The gang culture is rife. The impact on postcodes stop you ordinary everyday people venturing to certain parts of Birmingham for fear that they will be ambushed for looking a certain way. It's happened time and time again, where innocent people are slain for no reason at all. 16-year-old Sikol Decor, who was described as a talented footballer, having had spells from Nottingham Forest, was a product of gang culture himself. According to reports, Sikol had been a member of a gang based in the B20 area, and of course that's Hansworth, and that area is known for Bergabar of course. It was also revealed that Sikol Decor would often go to known rival territories by himself, armed, on his e-scooter and look for trouble, looking for rivals. Always ready to improve his rep and his own standing in his gang. Of course, it helped his ego. Now, on July 12th, 2022, Sokol Decor, who was 16 years old, had been riding round in Newtown, a place he knew he should not have been, as that is a rival territory. An older gang member who had been loitering on the street saw Decor on the junction of Villa Street and Farm Street. Now, Sokol was armed with a blade that could also be used as a duster. So, the older gang member told his friend, 18-year-old Pierre Thomas, to go after him. Now, Pierre confronted Sokol in the junction, as I said, of Village Street and Farm Street. Pierre Thomas pulled out a pistol, well, it was a revolver, and fired upon Sokol at least twice. Thankfully, Sokol managed to dodge the ammo. An unnamed 16-year-old then gave chase to Sokol, following him all the way to Hockley. Now, once in Hockley, Sokol met up with a friend and used their phone, presumably to call for backup. At 6.30pm, Sokol appeared from an alleyway by Nursery Road in Hockley. A few minutes later, another 16-year-old, who had been looking for Sokol, appeared. Now again, bear in mind, these two teenagers were disillusioned with gang culture. So what they did is they both began to throw up their signs. Sokol repping B20, Hansworth-based gang, and of course this unknown teenager repping B6 to B19, which is Larzell's new town, Aston. Now, these two teenagers began to argue, they argued back and forth, and then both teenagers pulled out their blades and then lunged at each other. The scraps spilled out onto the street right by the SL petrol station. Now, the 16-year-old at one point stumbled, and Sokol was actually winning, but then the teenager turned the odds. The 16-year-old actually tripped Sokol up, and Sokol fell onto the ground. Sokol was pinned to the ground, trapped. He lay helpless. There was nothing he could do, and a 16-year-old then used the blade and targeted Sokol's chest, making contact with the heart. Now that damage proved fatal, and sadly he was pronounced dead at the scene. Now a few moments after the incident, more GMs came, armed with pistols, and that also included Pierre Thomas. Now when everybody saw Sokol laying there on a the cold hard ground, not moving, everybody dispersed. They evacuated the scene. And of course, an investigation took place, and the investigation was conducted. Police found images on Sokol's phone that conveyed he was part of a gang. And now, 18-year-old Pierre Thomas, the teenager that fired upon Sokol, and an unnamed teenager, who's 16 years old, have been sentenced in connection with Sokol's incident. Pierre Thomas was charged with manslaughter, so was the unnamed 16-year-old teenager, and for that, he received nine years. The unnamed 16-year-old was told that he would have to sit down for nine years or so. Now, the 16-year-old responsible for actually ending Sokol's life, he has not been found. However, police know that his name is Ishmael Farukasun. Condolences, but this could have all been avoided. Stay safe. Safe.